My wife and I were watching an episode of Undercover Boss, and the boss, the big CEO of Wiener Schnitzel, had an episode all to himself. My wife said she loves Wiener Schnitzel, and I said, I've never had it my entire life. I've never eaten at Wiener Schnitzel. Well, that changes today. I don't know what to get. Are you ready? Yes. I'll have a, uh, a junkyard dog and a Chicago dog and a chili cheeseburger. And a junkyard dog, a Chicago dog, and a chili cheeseburger. What else? And an order of fries and a Fruit Loop shake. <laughs> okay, what else for you? That'll be it. I'll have you out the window. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, they got a Fruit Loop shake. How badass is that? Okay, welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. And that's right, today we're eating a Wiener Schnitzel. Wiener Schnitzel is, happens to be the largest hot dog chain in the entire world. They sell 120 million hot dogs every year. 120 million hot dogs. Man, this place must be super popular. It was started by John Gallardi in 1961 in Southern California, and it's grown into that, the largest hot dog chain in the world. I'd say that's pretty impressive. According to their website, they got much more coming, and they're expanding and franchise opportunities available. But, how's the food? You heard what I ordered. <laughs> I just got kind of a, a random selection of, I don't even know what it is. So let's just see what comes out of the bag first. Oh yeah. We got a lot of fries. All right, let's check the fries out. Now I did eat two fries on the drive through So okay. I'd say that's a very average french fry. But you can get them covered in all kinds of chilies and cheese and I bet they're better that way. Mm, plenty of napkins. Must have saw me coming. <laughs> Okay, so they got a burger on the menu. I know they don't specialize in burgers, but I just had to get it. I don't know why. It's like calling to me. Oh my God, it's piping hot. A messy little b is it? Yeah. Chili, chili cheeseburger. Ah, just a cheeseburger covered in chili and cheese. Yeah. That's not bad. The chili is actually really good. The burger, I would say it's a good thing they don't specialize on this cheeseburger. Because it kind of tastes like a microwave cheeseburger from 7-Eleven. Which, by the way, when you're in 7-Eleven and you want a cheeseburger, it's not a bad option. So the cheeseburger's okay, but that's not why we're here. We're here for the hot dog. Now, I don't know which one this is. Okay. Starting with the Chicago dog. Now, what does a Chicago dog taste like from a fast food joint? Ah. Uh, Mm. Okay. You know what? That's actually pretty good. The bun is nice and soft, and the hot dog itself is really good. Man, I gotta tell you, not bad. The toppings are good. The toppings are fresh. I'm spilling it everywhere, but you know, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed. For like whatever, three bucks or whatever it costs. No, it's not a bad hot dog at all. Is it the best Chicago style dog I've ever had? Absolutely not. But is it the best one I've ever had at a drive through? 100% yes. The next thing I have to show you is the junkyard. Now this came recommended from my wife. She goes, oh, you gotta get the junkyard. I said, okay, I can do that. Now this has everything on it. Looks like it's got french fry. Looks like it's got chili. Looks like it's got mustard. I think there's cheese on there. I can't really tell right now. Who doesn't like french fry? French fries should be in more things like in burritos and in in between buns like on sandwiches burritos Hell, i'd even eat a taco with french fries on it mm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm, that chili is so good i really like that chili i like that a lot these hot dogs are really good too and they're thick they're big plump hot dogs they're cooked really well i'm sorry that this is the first time i've ever eaten here i love a good chili dog 
Had I known about this place years ago, I'd have ate a lot more chili dogs. I guess that's why they call it junkyard. It's hard to eat. Oh, no. That is a really good hot dog. I am really impressed. I give it a big fat thumbs up. I don't have a hot dog scale. I do have a burger scale, but their burger would not make my scale. The burger was eh, but that chili sauce is really good. The fries are average, but I bet they're really good covered in chili and cheese. Wait, I forgot about the shake. The Fruit Loops milkshake. Now look at this straw. Oh my God. Dude. Who could smoke stuff out of this? This thing is huge. Look at that thing. Wow. That's got to be a 3 8 inch straw. Pretty close to half an inch. Anyway. Wow. Mmm. Dude, this is excellent oh man you know what i wish i would have been drinking this while i was eating my chili cheese dog because that chili with this sweet man it would have been an awesome combination next time next time i'll get the shake and eat it at the same time man that is an excellent milkshake that that just did like the shake base itself is really good i gotta tell you wiener schnitzel you have impressed me i am impressed by wiener schnitzel i never who'd have thought who would have thought? I never even I never even considered eating at this place. I'm like, hot dog place? I won't go there. I would totally come back. Next time I'm moving a hot dog, you might see me at a wiener schnitzel. And that's it for me. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Let me know what your favorites at wiener schnitzel are. I'd love to hear it because I'm definitely going to come back and I'd love to try some more stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate you. And until next time, keep eating wiener schnitzel and we'll see you.